All right, so this is the uh, the BCD 3000, and this thing is super old. It's about as old as my uh, Acer laptop here, but I wanted to show you. So I've got, I'm running, um, this is Algorithm DJ. Uh, it's running on Windows 10, so I just installed Windows 10 on this machine um, to kind of see if we could make this work with Spotify, that's the main thing, so I'll just show you real quick um, if I load up the DJ program, so I've got this mapped out, so I got, I got play, I got pitch, you can see it uh, works right with it, I can even scratch to change the pitch or it stop, so that's super cool. And I got the slider for my uh, volume, so that's working that guy. And I'll show you, I got the Q, the uh, kill, well I got EQ, bass, kill bass, you know, and that's all working. A little pitch bend, and start, start and stop, I got uh, seek. Great, so let me just show you how I did this. And even crossfade. Pretty cool. So this controller, even though it's pretty old, um, and says the drivers are only for Windows 7, let me show you how I did it. So this is what I did. Um, I'm just gonna try to watch the screen. All right, so if you type in Windows, BCD Windows 10, it goes to this community uh, page. Um, and then the guy says, Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Music Tribe that bought, um, Behringer. If you want to get the drivers, you have to go, scroll down, scroll down to, this guy is the tribe moderator. He says, go to this section of the forum, which is this website here. And he says, um, hi guys, here is the drivers. So this one is for X64, 64-bit uh, Windows 7. This is what I downloaded. I don't have XP. So he says something about, I've gone ahead and posted two different copies of the drivers for BCD3000 DJ controller. One is for 32-bit, one other is for 64-bit. And then he says, update, I made a mistake. Please scroll down and read post 8 for a clarification. He says, basically, um, I don't have a driver for Windows 10. What can I do? He says, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but unfortunately, BCD 3000 aren't compatible with Windows 10, 32 or 64-bit. And there's no driver update that will ever bring BCD3000 to work exclusively under Windows 10. Some users have said they had had luck installing latest drivers currently available, which I posted in this topic thread on Windows 10 using Windows 7 compatibility mode. Okay? So, that's what you need to do. Let me show you what happens. So, when I downloaded the... Um, the folder, right? It's a zip. I unzipped it. Okay? And so in this folder is this jazz here. So if you just double click this, it's gonna say, we're sorry, this doesn't work on Windows 10. It only works on Windows 7, right? So what you have to do then, well, I'm sorry, I already told this thing to run in Windows 7 compatibility mode. Let me show you how to do that. Basically what you do is you just right click the setup Okay, right click the setup and choose properties and then choose compatibility and run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7. Okay, so if you ran it without this checked, it would say, we're sorry, you can't do this. So if I unchecked that, said okay, I'll just show you what the what the error was originally, we're sorry, your stuff is too old. 
You must buy something new. This setup cannot run on the current operating system, okay? But I will tell you that if you do that, compatibility, let me go through one more time, right click the setup, choose properties, go into compatibility, and run as if a Windows 7, all right? You know, I've got other drivers for this BCD3000. I just didn't even go into my Dropbox to go look for them. Um, basically, I just said, let's see what this guy in the forum has to do. All right, so now I'll show you. If we go back to how did this guy get this thing working, if you run that driver app, even though the BCD3000 will install on Windows 10 without any drivers, it's only installing itself as a sound card, which is no good. You need to have it run those drivers so it installs itself as a MIDI application. And the coolest thing was I actually had this application open, and then when the drivers went through, this popped up a window and said, hey, I found a new MIDI device. So you go up here and you go down to MIDI settings, right? And you click on configure, and this is just the coolest thing, all right? So this is your map, all right? I mapped all these myself, okay? So the first thing maybe would be like the scratch deck, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate, I'm gonna rotate an input, and then bang, it lights up scratch. Now, I would say that I had a little, the problem finding the, the right rotary, okay? So once it's gonna light, light this up, and I had to assign it to deck one, um, because you can choose the mixing library, the music, you know, whatever section of instrument, but this is gonna be a deck one section, and then I did scratch, and then the important thing, too, is to show advanced controls and you put it as a rotary, the second rotary option, okay? Because if you do it as like this one, watch what happens now. It's like, it doesn't, it's, it, it's like, it doesn't know what, what's going on. So you got to put that, that middle rotary one. So I'm going to put this rotary. And it's really a nice effect because... I can scratch when it's paused, right? And, but what I did is I also, I slowed the speed down. Speed, slow, you see how it's slow, fast, that slider bar. So I could have a little bit more uh, movement, you know. It seems like I'm moving the wheel really far to get, you know, it's not direct drive on that. But the nice thing is when it's playing, so if I hit play, I can use this as just slight pitch bend, right? So that's why I wanted it to be on the slower end of the, um, so you see what just happened there. So I hit, I hit uh, pause, right? And it's gonna pop up that note, whatever you just hit last. Right? And I assign that to, to uh, play pause on deck one. So you really have to kind of just uh, go step by step, you know, but, but what are you going to do? Maybe 20 maps, you know, big deal, you know, it really like, what do you need? Start, scratch, pitch bend, I, t I assign these, I assign seek, I assign my kill switches, uh, EQs, crossfade. This master actually still works. I didn't even have to assign that, so I think it's built in because, you know, I'm running out on this as the sound card, which the nice thing too is I haven't even hooked up my headphones yet, but I'm sure they work because this thing essentially is your sound card, right? It's, it's also a MIDI, a MIDI controller, but it's your, you know, it's a high USB 2.0 um, sound card. Anyway, yeah, have fun with the mapping. Uh, the most important one, obviously, was this: was the scratch wheels. And yes, sir. Can you take this off? The what part? This off. The Legos. Yeah. All right, let me see this. I'll split it in half. All right. Well, um, I wish you luck, and I will post another video once I'm done. Um, oh, I did that with one hand.
There you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll post another video uh, maybe once I get this all rocking. But um, yeah, BCD3000, man. I'm so happy I don't have to buy another uh, controller. And uh, this was like 34 bucks, this uh, pro software. And now I got my Spotify LinkedIn, a million songs, right? And, you know, the latency seems there. And I haven't had any clipping. I think we're ready to rock. Thank you very much.